process of making cork begins with harvesting the cork oak tree. The bark is split using axes, as you can see. And when the cutting is complete, an entire plank of cork can be removed uh, without harming the tree. And it takes a minimum of nine years before a tree can be harvested again. The planks are then taken to a factory where they are seasoned, which means drying outside for six to eight months. And when they're ready, they're stacked on these uh, steel pallets um, ready for boiling in these boilers here. They are bubbling away. Here they are being removed. And here they are flattened, dried and ready for the production stage. The first step is to visually check every plank for quality. So you can see they shave the end off. Um, and these are graded um, according to these different classes here. To make agglomerates, cork is granulated and bound with glue and then formed into cylinders and then cut into shape. And this is called the extrusion process. Um, here, the thinnest cork planks, which can't be used for um, natural cork, are fed into machines. Um, and these machines make uh, discs of cork, which are then glued to either end of the agglomerate cork to make a twin top. The alternative way of making agglomerate corks is to take the granules and punch them into shape, as you can see there. This is called the mould process. And then we have natural corks being manually punched. You can see this operator leaves a gap because he sees uh, blemishes in the cork there. And natural corks can also be punched by robots. These get the uh, maximum usage from each section, um, but they don't discriminate on quality like a, a human operator. Either way, you end up with a big pile of corks. The next step is a four hour cleaning process. Then they are polished by this thing and ready for further quality checks. This machine photographs the corks and categorizes each one. And then finally, the corks are subject to a visual check by these humans. So the finished articles. On the left is a large granule agglomerate. In the middle, it has the discs added and the finished article is on the right. Here you have a small granule agglomerate cork on the left, again with the natural cork discs added on the right. And finally, a natural cork. And that is the process, as they say, from bark to bottle.